Are you guys ready for a crazy case? This is Jose. He was T-boned, taken out by a car while he was riding his motorcycle. Boom! Instantly in the emergency room, broke his clavicle, severed the nerves in his neck on the left side, cannot use his left arm. Oh my God, I feel so bad for him. He's in a ton of pain, can't sleep chiropractic is his savior and you will not believe what you see in this video check it out watch 2009 i had a motorcycle accident um basically passing intersection somebody t-boned me um after the impact i was uh in the hospital for about three months i uh, had a emergency flat procedure done because my clavicle was uh, disintegrated on mm -hmm. impact. Mm -hmm. um, had a clavicle, or excuse me, metal bar replaced. I uh, shattered three ribs, and I had a piece of shrapnel uh, go through my kneecap. Um, that was uh, what left the scar. Now, after that, I think I had one more surgery where I did nerve transplants from each leg, trying to bring any function of the arm back. Today, I'm uh, experiencing a lot of pain in my knee, tightness, um, also in my ankle as well. Um, my legs, it's been throwing me off my gotcha. balance. Pain is right chest up here, pec minor, uh, neck pain, um, shortness of breath. Tell us about your sleep. Oh, it's horrible. Um, I, I feel like uh, constantly because of the nerve pain that trickles in and out, uh, I maybe get a constant three to four hours, if anything, and then I wake up. The one thing I want you to see here, guys, point the camera at him, is that uh, see how the strap is over his right shoulder? This weight of this arm is actually pulling him left. And so it's pulling him to such a degree that he has to hold that side up with his side. You can see his shoulders raising. Uh, that creates tons of imbalances in the spine. So we already, already have talked about when we start to find a solution, we got to get this sling off his shoulder because the sling is going to be the kiss of death. It's going to put, put muscle, muscle memory back onto that side. And he's already agreeing, kind of understands what I'm saying. So I wanted him to wear the sling to show you guys. Now we're going to take the sling off and show you what's going on. Go ahead and take it off. Good. And so uh, before we move on, let's just don't put your hand in your pocket. Just kind of just try to move your arm. Let's see what we can do with your arm. That's about what we can do right there, right? Yeah, about twist a little bit of elbow. Gotcha. Can you can't bend it at all, right? No bicep. Okay. Can you move it behind your back? Uh, a little bit there. That's a little bit. tricep right there. Can you move your wrist at all? No wrist. No wrist at all? And gotcha. no finger. And no fingers, right? No. And you have pressure where, pain where? I have pressure in my calves, in my left knee, and a little bit of tightness in my lower back. And how much is that tightness in your lower back? How about that? Uh, about a six or seven. Gotcha, go ahead and stand up. And go back like this, one hand behind here, and push your back, please. And how about that, in your back? You said the left side before? Left side tightness, and definitely. Half, six, so six on that one too, or what? Yeah, about the same. Gotcha, go ahead and stand up. Now look at the floor with your neck. How about that? Anything in your neck? Just tightness, no pain though. And tightness on a scale of one to ten, what is that? About a seven. About a seven, look at the ceiling. How about that? That one's definitely tighter, like an eight or a nine. Gotcha, so this is all tightness. The reason he's calling it tightness, guys, is because we're just switching verbiage here. It pain, somebody would say pain, he's saying tightness. Yeah. And the reason for that is because he's been in pain for so long, he doesn't want to complain. So Don't complain. You don't want to complain because why? You don't want to look like somebody who just can't take it. And he doesn't, want, he doesn't want to complain. You know, just nobody wants to complain. So he calls it tightness now. And so you're going to see a difference in that ten, that tension or that tightness is just another, another name for pain. Okay, so let's go to, uh, let's try to squat on your own real quick. I'm okay. just kind of interested because I want to show them how bad your balance is and how. Okay, what do you feel when you do this? Uh, I feel a lot of tightness in my calves uh, and in my knee. There's a lot of uh, definitely, again, tightness. Not now, let's get one ten. What is it? Uh, about a seven in the calves and about a five or six in the knee. Okay, come over here. Go ahead and hold it lightly on top of here and just do your squat and see what happens there. Tell us what the numbers are when you go down. Uh, more tightness in the calves um, and a little bit less in the knee. About, I'd say it goes down to an eight or a nine, or excuse me, up to eight or nine in the calves and it down to about a four in the knee. Gotcha, try to go a little lower this time. Okay, what is that? Um, it's, it definitely increases more gotcha. in the Good. calves. And we're just trying to get it before and after here, guys, because after we adjust them, we're gonna see some difference and we wanna know what it is. Now, last thing, stand up on your toes, please. All right. Five seconds. <coughs> what do you feel on your ankles? I feel like I uh, my ankles almost like are crooked. Like I am trying to balance with Which my big one's toe. Worse? Uh, left ankle's worse. Gotcha. On a scale of one to ten, what is that? Uh, tightness is about an eight. Gotcha. 
What have you done for treatment over the years besides um, all the surgeries you had back in 2009? Um, mostly just try to stretch and uh, just stay as nimble as I can. But, gotcha. Yeah. Any chiropractic, any acupuncture, any massage? I've any done one acupuncture before, didn't really help. Um, I had a rinky dinky at chiropractor, you know, one of those where it's, they kind of just put heat to you and... Rinky dinky. Yeah. I, just, I feel like... It's not often I have my patients insult to the chiropractor. <laughs> Well, it's that's definitely fun. a different office compared to that Good. other one. Uh, a little bit more advanced here, tiny bit more. Yeah, a lot mm -hmm. more advanced, I would say. Yeah, cool. And so, uh, what else? Uh, any other PT surgeons, um, or that kind of stuff? Anything else in the last um, nine years? I've done a little bit of PT this past year, just to try to alleviate some of the tightness, um, okay. but it doesn't seem to really be helping yeah. much. His body is pretty messed up. X-rays will show you guys on camera. Oof. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Just I don't even have to say anything honestly. Like I I, I just I did, I instantly smiled because it's just really ridiculous relief right now. You really did change, huh? Yeah. Yeah. You I could need a cigarette too. Uh, I mean, ma ba basically, that's. I feel like that's what you just did to me. <laughs> Man, wow, this side is really tight. Can you have this? Oh. Oh my God. Oh. Wow. That's wow. I definitely feel like my whole chest and back is straighter. Like I, I felt like as if I was lopsided before, and now I don't. I don't feel like that at all. You feel like it's already changing quickly. Yeah, I really like you, like the pressure that just releases. Wow, that's insane. Okay, helping this guy up. You can see how he's uh, not able to get up very easily. Um, using only one arm is harder than you think. So we helped him up, and now we're gonna see how he feels. I couldn't believe it. Immense, like I don't feel like I'm carrying any weight right now. I feel ridiculously better <laughs> like <laughs> it's it's insane i i yeah i i, I can't you feel like a little lighter yeah like I, I my whole my whole chest just feels before it was being like like almost pushed in like off my shoulders were pinching together and now it just i feel like just definitely like a lot better in my chest like i'm not carrying all the weight as much or at least i know i, I am still but wow and my neck just there's no, no pressure on it. I haven't felt like this in a, a long time. Yeah, yeah, cool, huh? Now that he's feeling a little better, we're gonna make him feel even better by sending him down the hall and recalibrating. This is one of the most important things after I adjust you. Do not twist and turn, look straight ahead. Let's check out how he's doing now. Somehow the knee doesn't feel tight at all, which <laughs> is, it's, that's insane to it's me. It's funny how that's weird, huh? I was just talking smack about it a few minutes ago. I literally feel like my whole, like everything, even just my lower half feels instantly better. My knee is not as tight. The most amazing thing is that my neck, like, like <laughs> the back of it, I just I always feel like it's like tight, like a brick, like hard. And now it just, it, I don't feel that. I don't feel the tension that's always been right around here in this back area. Move your arm. I'm just curious. I'm just totally curious. Let's see if I can get it. It seems a little more powerful to me, but you tell me. I feel like I can move more right, right yeah. here in the shoulder. I mean, it just seems like you're doing a little more force, intention-wise. Definitely only like a three in the like the calves. Nothing in the back. Nothing. That was a six in the back. Remember that? Yeah, I don't put feel your head back here. Put your back here and go lean back. That was a seven going back this way last time. I don't feel anything. Yeah, uh, I'm not putting words in your mouth, right? No, that's definitely something that's a while later. Yeah. And what did I just adjust? Just my neck. Did I touch your back? <laughs> not at all. Did I touch your knees? Nope, just the neck. Yeah, just just the neck. Okay, go ahead and look at the floor with your neck. That was a six, I think, or something like that. In there you go. I don't feel the tightness. Look at the ceiling. That was an eight or a nine, I think you said. Yeah, definitely don't feel the tightness. Okay, now the fun ones. This is the fun ones. Squat, baby. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can do. 
Oh, it's way more easier to go down. Like I don't feel any tightness in my lower legs. I might not just be able to do a squat properly, but we'll see. <sighs> I feel like it, it's easier to go down. It's not as tight in the legs and in the calves. It's it's that was a uh, that was just that was a nine out of ten tension wise. How's that nine out of ten happening? In your it's legs? definitely only like a two, maybe a three. It's not. It's, and your knee was like a four or five. It's not there. Like that's and the thing. Is my you knee came feels. in with knee pain, post surgical traumatic thrashed ugly knee. And how much better does that feel? <laughs> Honestly, it's it's insane. It's I was worried about going to work tomorrow because I have to walk all day long and so i was hoping that there was something and i was thinking you were going to touch my leg you know or do something to my leg i don't want to even look at the leg it's fucking stinky yeah. <laughs> so you walk all day yeah okay oh, um, i'm trying i was trying to get out of it i was trying to get out <laughs> all right let's see <laughs> I'm a little teapot, jerk and stout. <laughs> oh, that was insane. It's not. It's it's definitely way easier now. Way way easier to get up and down. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you did that so funny. Wow. Okay. On your toes. Five seconds. Alrighty. I'm a little tight, but how's the left ankle compared? Remember you were like saying? Yeah. That? No, the left ankle is is it's that's what's it's insane. Is like my whole ankle doesn't feel. I felt like I couldn't move it. I felt like I couldn't move one direction, and now I feel like it actually wants to move everywhere. Yeah. Like, so everybody out there that calls this all bullshit, and that uh, there's no way this can happen, there's no way you can adjust the neck, and the ankle feels better, the knee feels better, and and um, I can breathe better, and my my dick gets harder. All that <laughs> kind of stuff. I mean, you tell them, it, except it, for the dick thing. Yeah, well, I mean... Is it true? I mean, is this, what is it? What? How do you tell them that this is the craziest awesome. shit? She's here. I can't say that. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, just the adjustment in itself for my knee, it, it's, it, it feels 10 times better. Like, I'm telling you, I felt like I wasn't going to be able to walk. I was worried about that coming in. And now I feel like I can definitely go back to work tomorrow. Like I'm not gonna have any problems. I'm not gonna have to worry about calling out or anything. Nice. Yeah. And I, I, I really like that. Good. So uh, first day after the adjustment, I felt really great. Uh, I walked around South Coast Plaza for about half an hour. Tell me, this walk around South Coast Plaza is that a normal thing you can do, or is that an abnormal thing you can do? Um, it's something that I would abnormally not do because, because of why? my knee. Because your knee. Yeah. And so you're able to walk around how long? Uh, about half an hour uh, uh, before so it came back. That's an improvement. Yeah. And then he said he had a little pain towards the end of the walk, which is fine. I got that. And then he said um, he slept. Tell us about your sleep. Actually, I slept really good. Um, How for, unusual is it to have that sleep? Because you said you haven't slept good for, like, for, for a million years, right? For a long time since I've been basically the accident. I woke up. I had a lot of energy. I even cleaned the house in the morning before yeah. I left to work. So this pink line is the center of mass of his body, okay? And so uh, this is where his body should be settled in. And you can see how it's leaning to the left, 18.71 millimeters. That's a country mile, I say. Um, because it's leaning so far and because of this, this is a, just a full on plate keeping this clavicle together that he just shredded, shredded in the auto accident. Because again, if you, if you uh, look up close, you can zoom in on this. Right there, this bone is missing right here. I mean, Completely there's this, it's like not, this is supposed to be, see how thick this is right here? Starts right here. It's not even it's not even here yet. So he couldn't remove this thing if he wanted to because there's not enough bone holding this thing together. Yeah. Okay, so um, uh, normally it should be nice and thick and strong like this. He's just there's not much bone left. So it's lucky he has this in here. But the problem is it's like almost like a magnet because it's metal and all these screws and so the muscles and pain it hurts. <laughs> it does not feel good. So everything is pulling towards that way. Does that make sense? Yes. Gotcha. So the problem with that is here he has uh, he has uh, scaling muscles. He also has um, brachial plexus nerves that go through here, and so all this stuff gets pushed and torn and smashed and all that stuff. So that's a big issue. Now I was going to tell you I saw some. I thought I saw some fracture here. And this looks like an old something right here. An old old fracture. Yeah. It doesn't look like it's healed because it's all kind of separated right here. It looks oh, like yeah. it's just floating here. Okay. If you look over here. Oh, nada yeah. over here, something. Okay, so um, 
I don't know how important that is. I don't really see any nerve problems with you concerning that. Okay. That would be T1. You would notice some definitely some issues with your arm with that, but yeah. um, you know, your arms no already functions. exactly <laughs> no function. So, but again, there's something floating in here too. Okay. Yeah. Whether it's matters, it doesn't really matter. I don't think it matters that much, but I want to show it to you. Okay. Now he has an 18 degree scoliosis here. This is a problem, but this is not the problem. This is the, again the imbalance of the problem. The pressure on the brainstem is a problem because it's folk forcing the body to be out of balance. And so um, he also has a head tilt. See the head tilt. So yeah. this actually, if you didn't have this, you'd be tilted to the entire other side. All the way. All the way the other way. That's how your body would normally be set up. But this is all, everything is being pulled this way because of this probably. Uh, this arrow pull, um, this arrow uh, well, points to his some left. Positive, right? Well, I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, okay, we'll call it positive. We'll call it positive. So this arrow points to a TMJ issue. So you have pressure on the left side of your jaw. Why is that important? Well, clenching your teeth, grinding your teeth at night will absolutely influence your neck. Okay. And so that throws you out. But again, the game changer is this thing right here. I wish I could tell you to take this thing out, but I can't tell you to take it out because there's just not enough bone left there. Yeah. And so uh, and it's very weak. You can see how this is white over here. Yeah. And this is actually dark. So the thing is actually getting thinner because this metal is so strong the bone is getting weaker on, so, that side. on that side. And so it's fading away even more. So you have no bone and it's fading away. This thing's a permanent structure in your body, but it's also gonna mess you up for the rest of your life too. Okay. So we're lucky to get the kind of compliance we have. We're gonna do as much work as we can, but this is a this is a long-term issue that we need to at least Address. manage, okay. manage, you know? Okay, any questions about this view? Uh, no, very clear. Good. So low back issue here, uh, right leg shorter than left, a little bit of pelvic rotation, some constipation. This is all constipation all through here. Jesus. All this full of shit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Definitely. Your girlfriend I, told me that already. Yeah, I was going to say. Yep. Okay, so that's, nothing, agree that, with that's you. nothing that we don't already know. <laughs> okay, so again here, spine looks okay. A little bit of arthritis, not too bad on the lateral view here. Okay. Again, the neck is where the, 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 major the chink is. Yeah, and so the neck should be shaped like this yellow line. It's not too far off. Okay. Again, on this view, but it is off right here. Here's the major point of contention that I found right here in the lower part of the neck. Okay. The atlas is being influenced here. Um, and how do I know that? Because this bone right here should be round back here. Oh. And so you see this bottom here? It's wearing off on this bone. So you grind that bone back and forth on there. When you move your head back and forth like this, it causes grinding. Side to side? Side to side. Okay. And you hear that as a, a sandpaper sound. I, yeah, I've actually heard it in my ear once, I believe. Yeah, before. and that's this bone wearing on that bone. You hear it in your ear because it's just, it's resonating through the bone. Wow. And so you just grind that off. Why is that important? The more you simulate that, the more your brain stem, which fits right in here. Is going to have more pressure. Okay. And just sure. gets poking it like this. Uh, that's going to hurt eventually. Yep. And so we know you've had shitty posture for so long that you have this big old huge hump on the back of your head. <laughs> and that's just bone growth. That's adaptation. That adaptation is just... Uh, you know, just it just it tells a tale of what you've been doing for years. For years, yeah. Okay. Any questions about this, sir? Uh, no, very clear. Good. I can definitely say that the nerve pain has been less, like significantly less, to the point where I haven't noticed it that much. The nerve pain in your arm? Yeah. Oh, I, I didn't realize it was nerve pain at all. Yeah, there, it's constant all the time. That's uh -huh. what keeps me up, actually. Ah. Uh -huh. yeah. And so the nerve pain goes how far down your arm? All the way down to the fingertips. It, it, it radiates oh, from the brachial so. plexus back and forth. I didn't realize. Yeah. A nice easy adjustment here again. Oh, good. Are you sweating uh, on me? No. <laughs> Although I probably will be in a minute. Just, yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> How's it feel? Good. Oh, it feels great. Yeah. Uh, can't wait for the second side. Yeah, this side is definitely the <laughs> the beater side oh, for sure. God damn. Yeah, that one is, is way different feeling of yeah, tension. That was way different. Yes, I can feel that one. It's hard to adjust on that side. It almost even feels like it released my like right side scat. Like it, like I felt my shoulder. No, I believe like that. I believe that. Yes.